Welcome back to another part of Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. Anyway, let's play. Goodness, it is time for us to enter and destroy Act 3. Hope it's going to be a good one. A good act. Only time will tell. I remember this uh, being extremely difficult, to be honest. Uh, at least the start of Act 3. I remember this huge ass spider that just wrecked me a few times. But now, you know, we have a completely different build. It's technically a different, like a completely different game. <laughs> a completely different experience. Let's see. Maybe we'll just stun the monsters now. Completely destroy them. Yes. Give me all them golds, baby. So I just have a question for you guys, right? Uh, while we actually play this, there's always like a topic I want to get into. What do you... What do you enjoy watching more? YouTube Shorts or TikTok? <clears throat> because someone told me to take you uh, uh, to, to take uh, TikToks more serious. Oh, almost didn't heal in time. To take uh, TikToks more serious, but like I'm I'm like bro, YouTube Shorts is way more convenient. And I, I would not recommend posting your short content with your long-form content on the same channel. It just doesn't work. It's better to advertise uh, to people on your channel and say, listen, uh, you have an additional channel uh, that is just for, like, your YouTube shorts, you know. As if you were creating a TikTok anyway, right? But what do you guys prefer watching content on? My opinion is just easier. It's more convenient to just go hop into the shorts because I never had a TikTok anyway. And now that there is advertisements uh, on on YouTube shorts also, uh, I don't know if they are going to kill TikTok off eventually, right? Because I'm sorry, any, anything that comp competes against uh, YouTube is just having a bad day. <laughs> That's just how it is. Except for Twitch. Twitch is like the only one that can compete against YouTube. Um, because, let's be honest, YouTube short, uh, YouTube streaming is not as good as Twitch, at least, on, this, on, on the level. But Twitch is like slapping themselves. Themselves. They are literally slapping themselves, I would say. Removing stuff like hosting and, yeah, you know. You're, you're the hard spiders, bro. Look at how much damage they did. Goodness, we almost died again. So YouTube is making themselves weaker. I don't know. And that is what, uh, not YouTube, sorry. Uh, Twitch is making themselves weaker. Oh, it was a regeneration. Doesn't really matter. I want to kill everything before going to the next location anyway. The reason is... We run the XP, baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Another spawn location. I'm pretty sure a lot of people die here. And they make it uh, intentionally a lot harder, most probably. So that you feel like, oh, listen. You might want to head back to get some XP before moving forward. Actually, not a bad strategy, though. But it would actually be better to just, like, reload the game and do this whole starting section again.
But I would like to hear you guys' thoughts about this. Twitch versus YouTube, what do you prefer? And then TikTok versus YouTube Shorts. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys, like if I have my audience... I wouldn't say analogy, but like... The people I'm catering for, according to what I understand, at least. Uh, would be watching YouTube Shorts instead of TikTok, and would be watching YouTube videos instead of Twitch. Maybe not YouTube videos, but like YouTube streaming. In my opinion, YouTube is gonna be better, like, in the long run. It's gonna be the ultimate platform. It is catering towards, like, you know, taking... Taking a... How can I say this? They're f like, everyone is fighting for technically the same audience, right? But YouTube is... YouTube has uh, the community post that competes against Twitter. It has the YouTube shorts that competes against TikTok. It has YouTube live stream, which competes against Twitch. And it has videos, which competes against nothing. There's nothing that can, can compete against YouTube videos, right? The only problem is when you have a monopoly, uh, when you have... When you're so far ahead, you can literally do anything you want with the platform and do not care about the content creators. Uh, because, like, the problem could be, like, for you guys who don't know, a uh, long time ago there was something called Vine. Vine was technically the YouTube Shorts. It was the... Uh, what, what is it called now? The TikTok. It was the TikTok, it was the YouTube Shorts. Why do they do not exist anymore? Because content creators complained about something and the platform was like, we don't care. Either you, you stick with it or, you know, or, or whatever. And eventually what happened was they got like the four top creators or something like that to be like, screw you. Uh, we disagree with what you're saying. So either you change it back or we will not make content for Vine anymore. And... <laughs> Vine was like, okay, well, we don't care about what you do. If you don't make content, someone else will be the top anyway on Vine. Longer story short, two, two months later, Vine stopped existing. Now, the problem, like, what we had with YouTube is that it's literally... YouTube don't care about the content creators, they don't. They care about making money, getting advertisers to pay, and then, you know, it's a business overall. The problem is that they are such a big monopoly, such a huge platform, that it doesn't really matter whether you are, or someone else, whether you, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, uh, Mr. Beast, Anyone quit the platform. It doesn't matter because it will just instantly be replaced by the next best person. So literally, YouTube is too big to compete and to cry over. It is the platform. <laughs> it is by far the biggest platform. So like, yeah. The problem is Twitch is also making bad decisions. I need to sneeze. Oh man, that sneeze. Oof. Um, Twitch is also a really big platform, and they also don't care about their uh, streamers, right? I don't know why these people just don't care about their audience or their content creators. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. But there was a lot of, like, disagreements with a lot of people on their platform. Um, and then all of a sudden, a lot of people left. So, a good example is uh, Dr. Disrespect and Ninja. Ninja left for Mixer and then <clears throat> made Mixer bankrupt. <laughs> uh, because the sponsor was just paying too much, they didn't have the money to actually support it. And they bankrupt Mixer. 
which is actually owned by Microsoft. Funny, funny enough. Fighting off more than you can chew, I guess. And now, literally because Ninja took on that, decided to do take on the sponsorship and move over. Uh, he is also no longer like talked about. Like I don't, I don't even know what Ninja is up to these days, to be honest. Right? Uh, Doctor Disrespect was like, well, screw this. Um, I'm no longer making content on on Twitch. Now he's like full time on YouTube. I don't know what that's about. I'm not a I'm not a Doctor Disrespect fanboy. I I don't like him at all. If someone cheats on his wife, I I feel like they should not even get views. But anyway. That is just my opinion. Um, if you if you can't support your wife, then don't have one. That that's just the way I see it. Anyway, uh, yeah. So like, he also just like decided to be full time now on YouTube. Moved over. No freaking idea why people are doing this, right? Um, but all I could say is that people are just like angry or furious about like how platforms work. How they treat their uh, uh, them as a content creator, and uh, they just move on. They decide to like go somewhere else. And I, I, I do, I do 100% get that. I really do. If you have options, it's better to explore your options. And I still don't know what this thing is about kick. Like I don't even know why we need another streaming platform. Uh, but I think it's a good thing, right? Like. It's easier to grow on these new platforms than it would ever be to grow on YouTube or Twitch. The, the, the difference is, again, like I said in one of the previous videos I made, uh, if you make content around one game, you would die if that game dies, right? Like, just keep in mind, if you are on Kick, if you are on Trovo, and like, Theta, and all these other streaming platforms, you are as reliable on that platform as anything could be. So you have to, you have to 100% make sure that you don't just post or stream there. You you save your VODs, you save your um, streams and stuff like that, at least on YouTube as well. Like, you understand what I'm saying? You can't just be on these like little platforms. Even if you are doing well, like, I was taking DLive extremely serious, and we were top five. Top five streamers there every single time. It was fantastic, bro. Like, we had a, such a good time. Um, and then PewDiePie was sponsored to be streamer there. I know, it sounds amazing, right? But that literally killed the platform. Literally. So back then, there was like, you know, everything comes down to supply and demand. If there's more supply than demand... Uh, then you'll have like a thousand people with one view, but if there's less supply uh, with with the same amount of demand, you will have it flipped around, right? You'll have at least a hundred people with ten views. Like that's a big difference. So yeah, after PewDiePie was sponsored. Sure, there was more people also watching, but there was like, dude, there was like a thousand times more content creators for the platform. And that just destroyed everything. Everything. No one got views anymore. Which was really sad though, because we were doing really good back then. It was like one of the first ever... Uh, crypto streaming platforms. It was fantastic, man. And literally after PewDiePie came over, they also... I wouldn't say declared bankruptcy, but they had to get a bailout from this person called Justin Sun, which decided to buy over their... What is it even called in English? Their debt? Yes, the debt. Debt, yes. And now he owns more than 50% of DLive. <laughs> Which makes it now one of the worst platforms ever, because if you touch anything that Justin Sun is in, good luck, my friend. You will just have a bad time.
We have to destroy his mana. Oh. We almost have his mana. Okay, we have his mana. There we go. He's still fire breathing, even without mana. Nice. Not too shabby, bro. It is what I'm talking about. I don't know if we should. No, we should just wait for green gear. I have failed. All my life I trained so that I might one day kill a monster like this Telkin. But when the time came, I was not strong enough to defeat him. I fell on the first blow, powerless to move. Now because of my failure, he is the sickle of Kronos. Can what you say be true? You managed to beat the Telkins in Crete and in Egypt. Thank you, warrior. At least in some way, my family and village have been avenged. At last, they can rest in peace. I see now I misjudged you and your abilities when we first met. Now that the Telkin wields the sickle, his power matches that of the gods. There is no telling what terrible purpose he has planned. Hurry! He used the sickle to slash an exit through the wall. Don't worry about me. Follow him. Go! Yo, we just got another bag there. We have three bags now in total. Crazy. Crazy. What's this? Oh, wow. It's rings and amulets that gives you life leech. Oh, it's energy leech. Sorry. One out of three. One. This one has two now. Blood demon. Eventually we'll get that, I guess. One of these bad boys. One of these good charms. They will be mine. A wise man would prepare himself well for the road ahead. Lucky for you, I have goods to sell to the wise. 13% life leech. Goodness. 31 to 35 damage. Whoa, shouldn't we do this? Oh, it's still the same DPS. Forty seven to sixty five damage. Uh, two hundred and two. So it seems like uh, you don't have anything worthy, at least. Let's see the gear. Energy leech resistance, health regeneration, 72 armor. It requires a lot of strength. We're gonna buy this. Go safely. I think ours is a little bit stronger, but Welcome. it is green, number one. Number two, it gives life leech, it gives stun resist. Practitioner of magic has special needs that I can satisfy. Attack speed. Nope. I don't think we need weapons at all. Health. Fire. Offense. A good day. I did see this thing you speak of. A horde of monsters and their leader held a terrible weapon. They came this way, slashing and burning everything in their path. Anyone who didn't flee was cut down. In ancient times, the goddess Ninsan bore a son to King Lugalbanda, and he was called Gilgamesh. Two parts god and one part mortal, he came of age and became king, the mightiest of men ever to live. Now, Anu, the sky god, created a man named Inkadu, wild and untamed, and sent him to Babylon. There, Inkadu and Gilgamesh fought. Now, no other man was stronger than Inkadu. Even he 
could not defeat Gilgamesh. So he bowed to the king, and they became best of friends. Now the great are called to do great deeds, and before long, Gilgamesh longed to vanquish the terrible guardian of the cedar forest, called Hambaba. So he and Inkadu set out, praying first to the sun god Shamash. And it is good they did, for without his help it might have gone badly. But the two warriors, helped by the sun god, traveled far to the cedar forest, and heroes that they were, slayed the demon monster there. It was Gilgamesh, rightful king, who cut off the monster's head. From the cedar wood they built a giant raft, and with it floated home again, victorious. Nice. Found the second point already to spawn. Or to teleport. Absolutely. Oradoculus. Yes. Okay, checked everywhere. Need to sneeze again. My livestock! My farm! Somebody, get the monsters out before I lose everything! I charge per swing. 10 gold per swing, dude. You have the money to pay for me? <laughs> Ooh, my green items, bro. What the heck is this? Bro, are they just paying you in green items? Or like, I don't even know what's happening here. Where's this done? But wait, there's more. Hello. Pick it up, dude. Why is this mastery? my farm oh thank you no problem we're about to level up as well ridiculous where them enemies at bro Man. We should go back. We will soon. Can you just attack, please? Okay, let's head back. Enemies above us also shooting. Good news. Uh, there was enemies here on the left, dude. Right here. Don't know what that water is, but whew, it hurts. It really does hurt. More strength. Give me more, give me more. 40 to 49 damage. Health re regeneration. Most probably better, most probably. Not a hundred percent. We'll have to check. 
And then we also leveled up. So let's grab something here. Okay, auto attacks is done. So we can go into... 4%. So that's 1% increase, 1% increase, 1% increase. Um... AoE, no, we'll go with more single target damage, right? Or should we just do this? So, uh, provides a chance to counterattack an enemy after being hit in battle rage. Eight percent chance of activating. So this just increases the damage. Thirty-three, eight damage. Okay. Provides a chance uh, for attacks to cause bonus damage while in battle. This is the this is the thing that I was talking about with the two-handed hit. It's this thing right here. It will just do more and more and more damage. So like that could be good, right? The two-handed proc thing doesn't happen often, but it is at the moment our highest damage and it's a level 1 <laughs> it's only one and i don't know if it actually gives us more life still also i don't think it does But at least also we know now it doesn't proc more often the more skills you put into it. Which makes me wonder if it's even worth taking then. Because it might be better to just focus everything you have around stuff that will proc more often, increasing your chance of doing more damage all around. Very, very strange so far. Let's see how we grab this. Did nothing. Yeah, I don't think it contributes anything to the damage or to the lifesteal we get. It doesn't look like it. This Shrine of Mastery again. More like Shrine of Damage. Okay, everything is done. Because everything is awesome. I still need to do, like, a Lego game on this channel, man. 
Oh, we could also talk about something like that. Like, how do I choose the games that we upload to the channel? Guys, like, just again, um, if you donate $5, it does support the channel. You get to see the game that you want. Please keep in mind, I can't play every game that people request. So it will cost you $5 to request a game that you want us to be covering. And I will cover that game from beginning to end on this channel. So just keep that in mind. If you do support the channel that way, I will be covering your favorite game. The one that you suggest. Okay. That's something you do need to understand. Secondly, when we don't have people sponsoring content... A thing came this way holding a giant sickle and following it, strange beasts like a swarm of insects. They came like rolling death and then moved on. I wonder what terrible purpose they move east for. Follow it? That thing with the great blade? Sounds like a fool's errand, but if you are set on it, it's no harder than following the Silk Road. Of course, the path is treacherous, especially this time of year. So yeah, that is, uh, that is something you need to understand. Uh, we will cover your favorite game if you donate $5. I actually have a viewer, I don't know if they, like, they will ever watch this, but... They really do, they really want me to cover a specific game. Then the game is called... Uh, Trials of Cold Steel 4, but it's not getting views, so like... The game is extremely long. It's not just like making three or four parts and the game is over. No, this game is like... Oof, man. A hundred hours long, most probably. As long as Baldur's Gate, maybe even longer. So like... Doing that for a favor for someone to finish a game from beginning to end just because they ask... It just doesn't work like that. Life is not like that, so... I mean, if it was a small game like, that's only like one part or something, sure, right? Maybe, maybe potentially, sure. But you can't ask someone, hey, listen, I'm asking you for a hundred hours of your life. And I'm like, no, it's not free. And then get angry about it and stop watching the content almost altogether. And yes, even if it's a hundred hours game, I would still ask you five dollars to cover it. it. It's how it works. It's my regular rate right now, five dollars per game. It might change later down the line, depending on how long the game is, right? Maybe charge you up front, like, I don't know, 50 cents per, per episode. So if it's only like, uh, if it's only like, you know, four parts, I would, I would then charge you, uh, what? 50 cents per game, four parts. I would only charge you then $2, as an example. Maybe later down the line, I will add something like that, depending on, like, how many people break the trust that we have right now. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Rules will, like I said before, rules are bound to be changed. Other than that, how do I decide what games we cover? It, it really depends on how many sponsors we have compared to what games we cover. Like at the moment, the biggest sponsor we have on this channel is called Kane Umbrella. It's been a, like he's been a viewer for... Whew. Six years? Five years at least. Isn't this new content? Okay, we have nothing. Movement speed, 10%. Yeah, the one we have is a little bit better. A little bit. It's just a little bit. Uh, so, uh, he, he mostly just sponsors uh, horror games, right? It's his favorite genre, so... Normally, if that is the case, then I won't be playing horror games by myself uh, to upload to the channel, because horrors, almost horror is exclusively covered by one person 
uh, suggesting content. I hope that also makes sense, though. Yet the fur. Not too shabby, dude. Again. I don't know why stuff don't get picked up when I press A. Uh, so yeah, mostly, mostly covered already by the games he suggests. So pretty much what it comes down to. Um, Baldur's Gate did decently well. That's actually why I'm covering this as well. It, it, it gave me... The, the... how can I say this? The want. It gave me the want to actually cover this because like... I remember this was one of the big... One of the big milestones uh, that my previous channel... Which is called Manzi Games achieved, right? It was... Part one of Titan Quest Anniversary Edition was the very first video that ever reached 100,000 views... On that channel, so... Uh, that is a big accomplishment. I don't I don't expect to even get a quarter of that on 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 this video On this part one that we are covering right now uh, Right But it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is that I get to cover this game Anyway, like that is the big factor The trifecta or whatever it's called that I'm trying to cover Right now I like, the main goal eventually will become to cover every single game that gets released. Every single new game that looks like something, right? Looks like fun. The problem is, it really does. Like, let's say, for example, I upload five hours per day, every day without missing a day. How much money it would just go towards buying the games, right? Like, it, it would be... Ridiculous. It would be super expensive. So, yeah, it's unpractical. Unless it's, like, sponsored from the, the, the developers themselves. So that is also, like, another goal. Like, I need to get... I need to get game developers trust. And we want them to seek our approval, whether it's a good game or not. To give them a good rating. Whether it's a good game or not. Uh, dexterity weapon. Attack speed. Very slow. It's a weapon, right? Yeah, it's a... It's a spear. I never knew that two-handed spears is actually a dexterity weapon. I would have never guessed that. That's a good thing. Like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of our current build right now. Uh, there's a little bit of fog of war there. We will go check that out because, like I said before, it could be... Could be something. That little fog of war I missed like three parts, four parts ago. No, it's about two two parts or something. Yeah, it's nothing. Was a whole entrance where our quest item was in this humongous zone that I got lost in, right? So you do understand that. It's very, very important to cover everything, like all the grounds on the game. Have you seen a Yeti? Oh, I went once to the Chumbi Valley into the ice caverns. I saw a yeti there larger than any other. Maybe this is what the old tales mean when they talk of a giant beneath a mountain in the east. More quests? In past times, we would rarely see a Neanderthal. Suddenly, the tribes near us have grown bold. Bold and powerful. For two days now, they have attacked us incessantly. If only my son were here. I have not seen him, and these are dangerous times. The 18 kingdoms are ruled together from the Silver Palace of Garuda Valley, far south of here. They say that valley is none other than Shampala, 
the land of happiness. Our shamans, who we call Dongba, tell us of these things. I have never gone so far myself. We found the TV point. Fantastic, a bumbalomatastic. Hello! We're just preparing for the ascent into Natura Pass. Thought we'd be in the east by now, but travel has been rough. I see people travel east, I see them go west. Never have I seen so many monsters. But what can I do for you? Nice. What is this? God of Death, the ruler of Hengdu. Bleeding at damage. And increased damage uh, against demons. Demon's blood? Stun resistance and stuff. Looking over here on the left side doesn't seem like there's anything. Come again. Uh, let's let's look at your weapons that you're selling. Uh, thirty-three to uh, thirty-five to forty-four. Does burn fire damage. Life leech nine percent. Not a bad weapon, this one. But it's still nothing compared to what we have. Final. So how far are we in this act already? Dude, we're almost halfway. This is insane, man. Uh, we're not gonna respec. Okay, everything is checked out here. So let's go. Let us do it. So the end goal will be to cover all, literally all the new games, guys. From beginning to end. Oh. Cold resist health. It gives way more armor. It's decent. And uh, yeah, eventually this channel will get to that point. We just have to build a name for ourselves first. Um, not really a name for ourselves. We need. We just have to get as much traffic as possible that comes in from every single direction. Whether doesn't matter which game it is, people are interested on in this channel covering that content. Whether it's racing, which we haven't done yet on this channel, we will get to racing eventually. Uh, stuff like Need for Speed, Heat, and you know. Uh, whether it's games like, I don't know, GTA, which we will cover also in the future. Uh, whether it's stuff like uh, Baldur's Gate, uh, Resident Evil, uh, you know, Silent Hill, all these kind of games. I like. We need people to know who, our name. People need to care more for this channel covering that topic that they want seen. Oof. Plus one skill in nature, plus one skill in storm. We're actually starting to get some really good stuff. Yeah, I think, uh, ooh, what is this? Experience. Let's grab it and run in quickly. And eventually we will get there, right? We will, we will get eventually people that really do care. Oh, my. Run out, man. Run out. We were stunned inside of it. We need to heal again. We're frozen again. Is that a boss or something, man? 
And I think this game would have been so much easier if my camera is not locked onto my character as well. Because then I would be able to run around while controlling my character very easily. But now every time you click, uh, your your like all the enemies seems to be moving at the same time, right? Makes it so much harder to click on them again after you start moving. No, that was I don't think that was a boss though. It was just doing damage as if it was. <laughs> Another TB point, or resurrection point. Oof. We got slapped so hard I forgot what we were talking about, like, honest. But so far, actually, we're talking about games, if I'm not mistaken. Like, how do I choose the games we cover and stuff? At the moment, we don't choose, guys. Like... Whatever I feel like covering 100%, I, I do. Um, regeneration. Yeah, this uh, fat Aladdin enemy is definitely stunning us. Makes this cold resistance thing seem so much more valuable now. done for. Thank you, friend. Let's see. How can I repay you? Reward. Some sort of ring. Pierce damage. Huh? Did I right click something and it just it just disappeared? Wait a minute. Oh there we go. Cold resist. I don't know if I want this. It gives more armor. This probably would be better. We need a new chess piece, that's for sure. So it's not the fat Aladdins that actually causes you to get stunned. It is something else. Entirely. So yeah, I, I just I just play whatever I feel like playing uh, at the moment. Whether it's a new game, old game, a PS1 game, a PS2 game, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you guys are more picky when it comes to what game you want to watch today, right? So, for you guys, you could just donate $5 and then literally force me to play whatever you feel like me playing. Whether it's the hardest game ever, like, I don't know, a Dark Souls or Sekiro or something. The only time I will say no is if it's a game we already covered. Eventually, we might do reruns, uh, enable that. Maybe more than once, but like... At the moment, I think it comes down to... Like, if you want to grow on YouTube, at least. Or well, this is how it feels like. It comes down to... How much games have you covered? Like, literally, that's how it feels like. And believe it or not, we're sitting on 99 games, almost 100. And I want to finish most of the games that I recorded part 1 for. But the 100th game will be something that Kane most probably suggested. But it's... It's it's not... I don't know, it's not finished games, right? It's It's... 99 part 1 games, if that makes sense. 
I think uh, when it comes to finished, we only finished like almost 90 games in total now. Finished recording, not uploading though. Can you run? Like, why are you stopping the whole time? I'm holding in left leg. Dude, we are running so fast. Am I a survivor? And yeah, I, I actually feel like covering all the DLCs as well, to be honest. Boink. Because I still feel like there's not a lot of content creators, potentially that is covering smaller games like this still, right? I wouldn't say Titan Quest is a smaller game, because literally all my friends, everyone that I know, knows Titan Quest. But I, I, I think it has something to do with like, oh, you play Titan Quest? Now there's an anniversary edition, it's literally the same thing. Spirits of our ancestors have turned on us. They're attacking anyone who goes near the temple. To make things worse, three sacred weapons are hidden in the ancestral cave. Without them, we cannot defend ourselves against these new Neanderthal attacks. So he wants me to go to the cave, which is this way. Because I see it on the map. There's a red icon there. Come here, bro. Just accept my mace in your face. And then take the space up in this place. You disgrace. Yeah, here we go. Here's the quest. The quest uh, area. Come on, heal! Whore! Son! Slap! Goodness, dude. <laughs> That was not even close, baby. <laughs> I don't know if that's a laugh or a cry. I, I don't know. I'm still deciding. That was ridiculously hard, dude. What? The pedestals were empty? Are you sure? The sacred weapons have been stolen. What can this mean? This means the quest updates. The Neanderthals are big, but yet he are larger. Larger than that, far to the east, is a giant lying beneath a mountain. Oh, very good. Come, stranger. We have some good things for you today. Over here, stranger. Or enchantments ring, intelligence, energy. Okay. Okay, let's see what you have. Green items. 40 to 49. Okay, it's better than our offhand. 8% converted to health. 56 poison damage. Over 3 seconds. So it has more poison damage, but less life leech. It does more vitality damage, but less life steal. I think it does more damage overall. It costs 230,000, bro. Goodness. No green gear here. Energy regen. Life leech. Strength, strength, strength. Plus one to all spurt. Defense ability. Life leech. 18 life leech. Uh, let's check out the rings. Energy. Intel. Strength. Lighting res... Oopsie. That gave me a fright, by the way. 
That was funny. Yeah, sing for me. Goodbye. Okay, so I guess that is done here. Now we can cross the bridge. Luckily, we went up there because we got an extra quest and stuff. You see why. What the heck, bro? I'm pressing left click. Why are we not moving? Um... Shrine of Thrones. We're gonna take it and run down. And I think it's called Thorns, not Thrones. Experience? Oh my. Run. Come on, give me more experience, dude. It's all my fault. Our sacred weapons. I was such a fool. Now the brute Neanderthals have them. There's no hope. No hope whatsoever. You know, we are getting absolutely destroyed. When it comes to, like, chunks of HP just dropping with every attack. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade something. I don't know what that is. Might just be our level. <laughs> Get a level increase, we'll be fine. Oh my dude. That guy got absolutely wrecked. As he was about to start attacking us, he just got stunned. <laughs> oh, that, that sucks. It was at that moment he knew. He did. I think we're gonna run out the same way, most probably. So we don't have to, like, in depth do research. No. Okay, we're going a different direction. Frost burned damage is a dexterity very fast. What is this? It's a spear, right? No, it's a sword. Ah, uh, okay. So swords. Is dexterity weapons. We're just gonna run back. Just give me a second. I we need to loot everything. What everything was looted already. Um Okay, so swords and spears, like sharp weapons, it seems. Is dexterity weapons. And then Blunt, well, mostly blunt. I, I wouldn't call an axe blunt, right?
But Axis and Maces. Okay, we need to kill the adds. Dude, I remember this thing being super hard. Okay, that's what I remember most probably. Okay, nothing here. But the quest is done. <laughs> And a big Bowers was killed. Because I'm a Bowers. I kill big Bowers because I'm a Bowers. Yes. It is how it works. Indeed. You... You stopped them. I thought that with the weapons of our ancestors... The Neanderthals would be all-powerful. I thought we were lost. Oh, this was all my fault. No problem. I guess. Right? I don't know. Can we go this way? It looks like it. It's another mastery one. I feel like this one we're not gonna come back. The mountains you came. Now into the caves of ice you go. It is the only way. And after that. Ah, but you'll see for yourself. Oh man. The buff didn't like stack. But it's okay anyway, because should we? Nah, we'll go to the next save. Actually, we should. Now that we're posting five videos a day. Six videos, actually. I was just, like, thinking of doing one extra per day, but yeah, that's not gonna help much. We need to get, like, 10,000 uh, videos as soon as possible. But, you yeah, guys, this is where the part, unfortunately, will end. So, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did... Please make sure to leave a like, it does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the very next video. Love you, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.